Hello friends! Welcome to Cocktail Time with Leslie. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Manhattan. Woo! I've always yeah. wanted to know how to make a Manhattan. You this know, is great. Yeah, we're same. here too. Same. Yeah, this is uh, introducing for the first time Adam and Walt, my tiny children. Dorks. You could say dorks. Oh, my dorks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so nice. I'm going to show everyone how to make a Manhattan today. And the reason I chose Manhattans is because I... I'm not super familiar with them, and I think they're pretty badass. Like if I were at a restaurant and someone were to ask me what I wanted to drink, and I said, I'll have a Manhattan. It just feels really like- Feels fancy. Just, just go. Go get me a Manhattan, okay? Is the Manhattan the one that's got the cherry or it's got like the orange peels and stuff? That's a great question, Walt, because I often confuse old fashions and Manhattans, and I will teach you to make an old fashioned, like soon. In a later episode. In a later yeah. episode. Okay, I will give you zero dollars and one high five if you tell me in what city the manhattan was invented oh my gosh that seems too obvious it's not gonna it can't be new york city it's too too simple so uh i'm gonna say okay where what boy that chicago walt uh, i'm just gonna go the obvious and say new york manhattan yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's, <laughs> you know, she's tricking me because I always overthink. <laughs> All right, so I obviously got that wrong, but Walt deserves a high five. Put it there, pal. Yeah. Right. So Wait, interestingly, I the high five was a drink. Fuck. So to make a Manhattan is very simple. You need four ingredients. You need whiskey, number whiskey. one. Whiskey. Sweet vermouth, number two. This is maybe the right one. Maybe <sighs> not. Bitters and cherries. A lot of times they're served in martini glasses, but we're too fancy for martini glasses, so we have teacups. <laughs> martini glasses, please, please. All right, so the first ingredient that we need is whiskey. So whiskey. today we're using Rittenhouse straight rye whiskey bottled in bond. So this calls for two ounces of whiskey. We're going to do a half. So we're going to do one ounce. Half of two is one. So we're just going right down the line here. This is going to be the stronger one on the right. That's mine. Adam has dibs. All right. So that is one ounce of whiskey. Beautiful. Next is a half ounce of sweet vermouth. It technically is one ounce, but again, we're having it. Half of one. I don't think that's sweet vermouth because it's red. Is a half. So apparently Rosso means red as well. Yeah, but that looks good. Yeah. All right. Next is three dashes of, how do you say that? Bitters? But the long word. Angostura. Oh. Angostura. Dashes, er, dashes, bitters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so three dashes, so that means 1.5 dashes, there's one, and a half, one, and a half, one, and a half. Great. We just want this to fit. Oh, I could have done a full. Oh, well. Great. And then on top, we have a cherry. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. What kind of cherries are, are you using there? Um, these are uh, delicious smelling cherries. I will tell you. Those are those are local, aren't they? They are cellar door artesian preserved cocktail cherries. I like that they're not like that bright artificial red color. They're but probably made Machino in Michigan. Cherries. I'm sorry. The bright ones are Machino cherries. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? That's All right. In the moonlight. And now we're gonna give it a little swizzle stir. Have you ever had your hands on camera before, is my question to you, audience. Hands on what? On camera. The first time I ever realized I had hands when I was when I was watching Seinfeld in, I don't know what grade, seventh grade. You realized you had hands. Look at Walt's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to taste Leslie's Manhattans. This is great. Really Do you want to try this right now? Yeah. Okay, Let's that try. fire feels real good. Yeah, it does. Nice job with that. Ooh, All right, this, a little Manhattan little in there? for everybody. Walt's gonna choke. Um, well, you can use your teeth as a strainer. 
<laughs> That's true. a uh, life hack. It's true. Are these, are these plastic? No, these are no they're glass. Very, Thanks, nice Barb. Very light. Yes. All right, cheers to cheers the to our fancy tea glasses. <laughs> and our first cocktail time with Leslie. <laughs> tea Hattons. Tea Hattons. Mm. Now, this is not a shot. Ooh. Mm. You did a pretty good job. Why did you look at me when you said that? Yeah. Because I thought you were going to hork it down. Well, <laughs> Fuck. What do you say? Hork? <laughs> hork? What is that word? <laughs> don't you just hork it down. That doesn't, I don't think that's a word. It's a word. Right. I got it from Ratatouille. Just because we're, <laughs> I like just cause we're North, man, don't mean we don't know how to do shit. Ratatouille. Uh. All right. So I like that you're holding the little stem of the dumb <laughs> like, like, oh, It's so polite. Dude. It's so dainty. You got to put your to stab him by the end of this. Pinky. Oh, we are supposed to ice it. Oh, we are? Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty no. great. Oof. But I can tell you right now that this is strong. And if we drink this, we're going to be fucked on our yeah. gourds. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so sweet. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were worried. It's That's like, it's like sugar. Ooh. Should we just toss <laughs> these? Sugar liquor? No, I'm going to drink a little bit of it. Thanks for tuning in to Cocktail Time with Leslie. I'm Leslie, and these are two drunk dorks. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let's Okay. For Okay.